So we're trying to figure out what substances were found in a girl's backpack based on doing tests to identify the substances and we are comparing them to tests we are doing to what the substances that we know and then if they match up then we figured out what the substances were that were in the backpack. So we're trying to find the difference between uh, sucrose and fructose and to do that we are putting the two elements in a copper sulfate solution and put it on a hot plate and the one that reacts and makes pure copper that is the fructose. All right, so we're testing to see if this substance is one of eight substances, and to do that, we have to perform certain tests, and this is insoluble in water, so now we're going to perform an iodine test, check if it's cornstarch, and since it didn't turn blue, it's not cornstarch, and so we must perform a vinegar test on a new test tube and if it starts forming bubbles like in soda then it's calcium carbonate and if otherwise it's not and obviously it's bubbling so it's calcium carbonate. Okay, so right now we are about to put fructose and sucrose into a little thingy jig, and um, we're gonna put some of this in here. We're supposed to put about like three milligrams or so, which is about three scoops, and then we put about. 10 drops of copper sulfate in. Then I'm going to give it to my partners. And then do the same thing with the fructose. Today in chemistry class, our teacher gave us three white powders, unidentified chemicals, and she told us to run a series of chemical tests to determine what elements they are. So we have to use, like add vinegar, then you put it in a test tube with water, then add vinegar, and it like changes color, or like tincture iodine, it changes like purple for cornstarch, so it's pretty cool. All right, so we're doing the copper sulfate test, and that's where we're gonna put fructose and sucrose into test tubes, and then we're gonna put uh, some liquids into it, and we're gonna heat it up to see if copper metals forms in one of them, and then we'll find out like the identity of it, which will help us in our future lab. So right now we're working on a flow chart, so um, for our, the experiment we're doing, um, we're trying to find out the um, what certain chemicals are that are unknown substances to us. So we're using a series of chemical reactions to rule out which ones are not that chemical. Um, so we're devising a flow chart to create a process for how we're going about that. Um, so that's what me and my group are working on right now. So we're supposed to develop a flow chart um, based off of our data and it will provide like steps that is basically a process of elimination and like using that data that's how we're going to identify like the substance uh, that is a mysterious substance.